Hello, MechWarriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. We are playing Merc Tech still, and I want to do a thing today. Last time, or maybe the time before, I cannot remember, we got something interesting, and I want to use that thing today. The thing that I'm talking about is an auto cannon, and specifically an auto cannon 5 of the pirate variety. This one here. It's a quite interesting weapon because it deals a bit of damage and it also applies 1.4 heat each shot. So we will overheat our enemies while also damaging them. And I think it is a nice take to actually get some Hydra missiles into the mech again and just make it a long range overheater again. I want to see if that kind of works. So we're going to do the thing that we are doing. We're going to rebuild a thing and I think I'm going to take my king crab for it because we want to run all four of those auto cannons, and I want to also run some missiles. So I think a king crab is absolutely perfect for it. Now, we can play Scorched Earth here, which is a tier 66 difficulty mission that I still want to do because we might find some clan LRM 15s. These are the best ones. They give you the best bang for the buck uh, in terms of damage output compared to the weight investment and the slots. So therefore, let's see if we can find some more LRM 15 clan on this planet and then we're gonna go ahead and build a little bit. Scorched Earth, here we go. I already started all of the repairs that I need to. You know what? Since we are supposed to destroy things, I'm gonna take one artillery strike with me. And if I click ready, we have a drop tonnage. Okay, too much, too much. So Devastator is gonna get uh, out of here. Who are we taking with us? Give me a second. Do we even have enough mechs for this mission? We have the Jäger mech still, which is kind of funny. I mean, I could take him. Um, we have another Timberwolf, which doesn't have a build currently. We could make that happen if we wanted to. You know what? Give me a sec. So if I take this out, do we have 75? We have exactly 75 tons. So, yeah, I would take a timber again. This seems like a good squad to test out on the battlefield. But in order to hmm, in order to build the timber, I probably have to invest a lot of time and money here. Let us see. Currently, what he has is a bunch of ADMs, or one ADM. Okay. Three energy hardpoints, one missile hardpoint. Like, three energy, two missiles actually in total. Do I just bring another ADM here? And just slap a bunch of pulses on the mech so that we can run this guy again. We might want to do that. Ooh, we have tier 4 weapons. Sorry, tier 5 weapons even. I don't dare putting it into the mech right now. The reason for it being that I don't want to get the goodies into the mech. When I don't know if I want to keep these goodies in the mech. You know, maybe we want to build something with these high tier lasers later. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Still, what are we doing with the rest of the mech? It might be just... Heat management, for example. But I... Th hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I feel this mech could take a little bit more. What about we put a bigger laser on the mech? Or maybe even a PPC. Do we have a large pulse or something? We have a heavy, large laser. This might be the way. Is this the way? Alright, we put the pulse in here. Get the large on here. Actually, in order to sync up the range, I'm going to put the heavy large here. Uh, actually, now I have the, the right side open. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bear with me, guys. It's going to be amazing. Here. There we go. Mm, and then some ER mediums into the center and the left arm, respectively. So where are my ER mediums? ER large, ER medium. Yeah, again, it's just going to be the, the crappy stuff. I don't want this guy to live forever anyway. It's going to be disassembled at some point, so might as well just put the stuff on that I can right now. Cool. We even have half a ton left over. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. Wait a second. Can I... Give me out. Can I put a heat bank in the mech? Like... Like this? Put structure here. Get heat bank. Mark 2. Right there. And then I could even take another half ton of ammo, which I certainly don't need. Uh, we cannot even half ton here. Ah, uh, interesting. Still, I think the heat bank is a good addition. So, I'm gonna... Uh, hmm. The structure here. Get the clan double heat sink here. I could upgrade the gyro, but again, all of these upgrades do not matter right now. This is a fine build. I'm gonna take this. 64 days! 
perfectly fine and acceptable. <laughs> it's not really, but hey, let's get the timber online. Have some fun with it. Sure. And we're gonna advance the timeline so that we can possibly find more stuff. Uh, another thing that I want to quickly address, we have some MRMs. We have one medium range missile launcher and I've never used it. We also have these fluid guns that I've not really used yet. So let's check it out. We have been tasked with the destruction of an industrial oh. center marked at nav point alpha. Be sure to watch your fire around any pipes or tanks as the contents have the potential of being explosive. All right. There's one raid only? Ah, yes, this is a uh, demolition mission, right? Not a raid. This is demolition. By the way, I love the purple. Ah, so cool, man. So cool. Um... You know what? I want a chain fire group here, and I want a chain fire group here. Yeah, this is fine. Alrighty, so 2,000 meters. We are rather fast. Uh, we got two Timbers, we got the Marauder and the Cyclops, which is a little bit slower, so it will deliver some support fire. But in general, it should be... Why are we so skewed? I don't know. It should be quite easy. Hopefully. We will see. There it is. Kaboom! Oh yes, let's go. Oh yeah, and then there's ATM ammo. Mm. Uh, extended range loading. So, we did a thing. We're gonna shoot some extended range ATMs. I hope it works. Uh, will they impact? It will actually impact, so that's nice. But we don't only, not only want to destroy the base, we also want to destroy some enemies so we can get some salvage with us. It's actually pretty cool. I like the spread as well. Because it covers a bigger area. This is 50% already. Wow. Right, enemies, where are you? I, I need you to do a thing. There we go. We found the Great Worm. Oh, we have introduced ourselves so hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are done, man. We are so done with that. That's it? No! No, 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 no. Yeah, I want these reinforcements to arrive, Rihanna. This is fine. There's a guy. Let's get him. I'm currently running high explosives, but I think we should be... No, no, no. We should be fine. I hate this, when I'm going for an arm lock, I hold down my old button and this modifier also hot loads my missiles. That's not cool. Speaking of, I'm gonna hot load that guy. I think heat is okay. I, I don't have too much trouble with my heat management here. Also tank, the monitor. Get him out of here, now. Ah uh, yeah, of course. Can we? Ooh, this guy is still alive. That's a double gauss thing. Oh, a boy. All right, missiles here. I hope that they are enough. Yeah. All right, just the mediums. The heavy is a little bit too hot now. Uh, what do we have here? It's a thing. I still want the great worm to go. There he is. Says no heavy large. Instantly shoots heavy large. Also light mech behind me. Hey, little guy. I mean, if we have the heat capacity, we might want to do that. All right. I mean, it's it's a range advantage that we have as well. Those are LRM-10, by the way. And, you know, they are bringing more and more stuff here. Actually, yeah, I'm locked. That's it. Actually swarming us here. Get that worm. Bam, down he goes. They also got a cramp. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take some cover and we need to get rid of the light mechs behind us somehow Get that guy missiles that should do it and it does the other guy is down as well uh, Sure That's a pretty cool fight Very mobile very dynamic here enemies are swarming us Jump chat down mech down 
I'm kind of growing on these ADMs. Crap, it's a crap. Again, hot loaded, didn't want to. Uh, arm lock, guys, arm lock. No. Let me go back to my regular shooting. I actually have to release the ult button in order to not hot load. And I want to stay as long as possible here, getting a lot of good salvage. We get him? Yup. There will be more and more. They are relentless. And it seems like in this damage, uh, damage, in this um, quality bracket, they just bring those worms and some light mechs. I didn't see anything bigger than that right now. There's another worm, right? This is what, what we're gonna get here. And a tank. And a tank. 800 meters. Cannot hit him right now. My missiles will also probably not do anything. Alright. Oh, they bring the demos out. Uh, sure, why not? Let's go for standard ADM so I can shoot at range. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get him, boys. Yeah. Completely useless changing ammo here. Because he was going down so easily. Still, how many demolishers do we want to destroy still? I think that was on mech as well, yeah. There he is. And I think we are fine in terms of our own damage right now. Ooh, big damage. Cool. There's another light mech swarm. Oh yes, it's three of them. Four even. Maybe this is the time where we are going. Thanks for killing the demolisher, that's important. And they have some kind of purple lasers, we gotta be um, careful with that. The purples are the heavies. Ah, missiles. Didn't quite get him. Got him. Or are the purples our own lasers from another mech? I don't know. Down he goes. This is okay. This is an actual okay build here. I like that we put the heavy large laser into the mech. It's really good. Okay, light mech. I think I'm gonna wait out another land and then we're gonna go. I wanna get another, um, another one of these great worms. So we probably won't get these LRM-15s that I'm looking for, but there might be some LRM-10s on the battlefield. And the 10s are fine. They are not the greatest, but they are fine weapons. There he is. Attacking from here. Right, Griffin this time. Not a great worm. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object. Yeah, we also got a hidden object, probably in this little complex. And at this point, I need to be careful with my... With my own armor. Griffin has... An ER... Ooh, Clan ER Large. Can I have? Please? Give me, please. I need that. That is a good weapon. Right, we also get the crab, then there's another demolisher coming. Uh, go for the tank first. You got a 15! That's what I'm looking for. Please give. Mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the front, ideally. Man, these ADMs spread like hell. Alright. Yeah, this is the last lance that we're gonna take. And then we're gonna go home. Got it. Ooh, dropship. Wait a second. Uh, high explosive ADMs. Guys, this is where we're gonna make our stand and then we're gonna run. This might be something big now. High explosive ATMs loaded. Let's go. That's a crap. It's a crap. It's two craps. Which one am I targeting here? This one? All right. Casual pickup. What is going on? What are you doing there? Go away, man. Leave me alone. All right, I'm out of here. I think. Those machine guns. Holy crap, that backstabbing. That was cool as hell. Um, I mean, I mean, we're gonna get him, right? Because he deserves it. And then we go home. Cool. Yeah, do we need to destroy anything more here? These are just crabs. Oh no. I'll pull back. Good old good old fashioned backwards movement while shooting to the front line. Yeah. Yeah, this is where we turn around and go. We made it. Man, I hope we get some goodies out of here. 
Welcome home. Yeah. Welcome home. That was cool, man. I love that mission. Whew. All right. So again, wanna play these Hydra plus pirate AC5 combos and be able to overheat enemies at range. Let's see if that's working. For that, we have to rebuild a king crab. All right. Give me my missiles. We got a harvester 20k SRM6. What is that? It is an SRM6, yes, but why harvester 20k? What's the deal about it? It's a very good one. And we also got Artemis. Nice. So, the question is, what is the value here? We can pick a worm for 17. And get one LRM 10 plus some ultra auto cannon 2, some ER mediums and so on. These are broken, but we can repair them. This is a clan Gauss rifle, but I don't think... Oh, maybe I should take it. I really want that ER large laser. That's a good one. One of the best weapons in the game. Four tons only, solid damage output, amazing range. And yeah, it builds a bit of heat, but still. But that's it. That, that is kind of it. Well. I cannot take the worm and the gauss or the laser. Uh... Uh huh. Huh. The only thing that is possible is another crab. Do we buy those things? Having a second clan Gauss rifle is amazing. One is already in our um, Marauder. If we have a second one, we can make a clan Gauss clan PPC headshot, dude. I don't know. I want this. Mm. All right. I'm gonna take this. We're gonna turn it into money, and then we're gonna buy the things that we want, probably. Okay. 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 Let's see. So yeah, again, the Great Worm, I, I want to scrap it, and I want to get the things out of the Worm. Especially the LRM-10, and the Crab is just a money grab for me. Yeah, one mil. Let's see for how much we can buy the things that we just dropped here on this market. Five million sea bills. Okay. Okay. ER large, 3.7. It would have been a better economic choice to... Just take one of the weapons instead, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. So the Gauss Rifle, just picking it would have been so much better. But hey, now we know that. Um, I want that laser. It is a good one. And I think I also want the Gauss Rifle. You know, these, these numbers up there, they don't mean anything. But having those weapons in storage, that's a lot of things that we can do with them. Alright, anyway... Am I going to sell anything here? I don't think so. Wait! Oh, we got some of these gausses. Okay, so now we have four of them. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. Can I, can I unsell or can I unbuy this, please? I want to give it back. This is video game logic, you know? Have a change of mind and all of a sudden your weapon that you just bought is worth a fraction of what it was just in the shelf. You take it out, boom, it's worth nothing anymore. <laughs> so good, man. So good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna quickly get rid of some of my things here. Uh, people were saying that uh, cold storage actually costs money, although I don't think that's the case. But I have a bunch of mechs here that I technically don't need lying around anymore. And I want to sit at about 20 million C bills at all times. I mean, who, who's gonna run hunchbacks? At this point of the game, nobody. My enemies might. Okay. 17. Uh, let's get rid of the quick draw as well. Oh, yes. I mean, we have like, what, 60 max in our cold storage right now? We could probably afford anything we want. Almost. Almost. Lots of stingers here. Uh huh. Get rid of those. All right, two. 22 million C billows. Cool. This is all full. Queue it up. Queue it up. A little bit of repair. The Marauder did a good job. I hope. I should have checked the numbers. And that's all fine. All right, guys. Now that we have those guys going, I'd say we're going to quickly strip the mech here. Zap. Got to bring back some heat sinks. Although it doesn't make any sense. Actually, one is enough. There we go. 40 days of rework time. I want these weapons because I can scrap them and then make my other weapons better. And ideally, we're going to go to a bulk ammo sale. But we've been there already. 
So let's go over here to Banana San. No. Let's go here. And then we might go to Banana San later. Thing is, we just need an uh, industrial hub to build something with our king crab. And I wonder if I should take apart one of my timber wolves and actually take the engine out. 375 is actually... Maybe it's too much for a king crab. I think 325 for a mid-range build on a king crab is good enough in terms of speed and value. It's a nice balance. So, where the hell are we now? We are in an, in an industrial hub, correct? There's a cantina. There's a rare mech. Alright. Any good equipment here? Seems like a bad planet. A real bad one. So I'm gonna check my standard ammo real quick. They don't even have 170 mil. They don't have the 180 APDS that I'm still looking for, for the Ultras, or 185. Um, they have some word of Blake. Primitive cores? Sure. Oh god, what a planet. Yeah, there's nothing here that we want. Absolutely nothing. Look at these mechs, they have a, a Hunchback and a Wasp, and I believe the barracks are gonna be kind of the same. I mean, they're fine, but not really needed, not really necessary. Anyway, so we're gonna start the rebuild of this guy, and the guy that's gonna take the rebuild is this here King Crab Triple Zero B, since it's kind of standard still, it has some standard Inner Sphere LRMs and some Ultra Auto Cannons, and a 300 rated standard engine. Do we have any kind of XL? We got a 300 XL clan, which is, I believe, the best thing that we can put in the mech. There we go. So, APDS goes. I think we need my um, we need the LRM standard still, and I think it's gonna be a pretty okay if we take two of these bins. But what I want to do first is the following. AC, 5, a pirate. Is it worth upgrading them, or do we just play them as tier 4 and just test them? I think yes. We shouldn't go all in on these yet. Why do we have armor here? Reactive armor? Ah. Uh, I have the feeling we need the slots, actually. Ooh, also. Yes, we can fit them. Oh my god, I was, I was worried that we wouldn't be able to. But yeah, we can fit those AC5s. There's no special ammo needed, they just generate the heat. Correct. Cool. Alright, so then we're gonna take three uh, missiles of the long-range variety. That might be... this. Oh god, we need to take the armor out. Definitely. Uh, let me get... maybe just standard armor. Yeah? There we go. We'll see about that in a second. First of all, we need the slots. Okay. So we got now 40 missiles. Yeah, again, not the greatest, but it's gonna be alright. Now I want to bring back my good old-fashioned Hydra. Two tons of Hydra, two tons of regular ammo. I think this is fine. Put that here. I cannot take it out of the center anymore. Okay. Full ton cased. You say it doesn't explode or what is going on here? Oh. Two, oh, two slots and two tons for 300 rounds. I see. Alright. That's pretty cool that you can case those ammo types. Uh, but I think it's fine if we just put everything into the legs. Maybe, maybe one here so we can also put one bin of AC ammo in there. Okay, okay, okay. So we got double heat sinks. We got a gyro. We got the 300 rated clan. We're gonna obviously put two more heat sinks in there because we need it. I'm not sure about these lasers, by the way. I don't know if we can run them. But hey, uh, we need ammo for the auto cannon. Give me some good old fashioned 105 millimeter standard ammo. I'm not gonna bother with any flak type or anything. There we go. How much do we need? Five bins? I guess. Alrighty. So far, so good. We're running out of slots, and I don't even have any good cooling in the mech. Ooh, boy. So that goes here. 
I guess that's it. So the last ton here is gonna be a half ton, and this is how we're gonna test our build. Half ton here. There we go. It's 100 out of 100. It looks okay. It looks absolutely okay. Again, the heat generation, uh, it's a little bit toasty. Cooling, I don't know if we can actually make this happen, but I will certainly try. And at some point, we can also upgrade those LRMs a little bit. You know what? I'm gonna leave this LRM20 out. I wanna upgrade it to a better version of itself and then bring it back so, so that we have all four tier four weapons, you know? I think that's a good idea. 93 days, it'll take some time, but we're gonna get there. Okay. Here comes the Hydra Crab. Also, Hydra Crab needs a pretty toasty uh, camo pattern. Um, I don't like this orange. And I don't like this violet. Let's make this a little bit, like, desaturated so it's a bit grayer. Okay. And the orange could be something, like, bluish. Oh, yes. And this is gonna be a little bit more whitish. Ish. Blue flames, baby. I love it. Okay, let's go. So I can actually uh, distinguish this mech from the other ones. Uh, also, upgrades. We have no upgrades on this mech yet. Let's get it done. It's gonna be internal structure. It's gonna be mostly ballistic. Range and velocity. Missile spread is good. Ballistic damage is good. Ballistic heat is good. Heat capacity is good. Uh, torso twist would also be pretty nice. Um, but I think I want target lock retention and lock time. Yes. Because we are actually running a bunch of missiles. We have another one even. Insane. More sensor range? I think torso twist is actually good on a king crab because you don't have lower arms. You gotta really twist with the whole mech in order to get yourself on point. It's another 72 days and another 3 million seabills, but it's going to be worth it. Alright, crab. Let's go. Cool. Star map. I want to have a good planet. Something that is in the A section, like this one here. C variant. Uh, all right, let's go to Cheriton. Maybe we can find something. I also need to learn what these numbers mean, or these letters mean, uh, and, and what each of them um, represents. Because there's, you know, different, yeah, there's, like, equipment, there is, uh, like, mech quality, there is, like, uh, I think also, like, the um, quality of the mercs that you can hire here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. These guys are actually quite good. I don't need them, but it's good to see them here. Alrighty. So, 115 mil APDS. I don't need that. But yeah, they have just way more ammo now. 200 mil Gauss. No. I'm gonna buy this. Because... 375 Gauss seems very interesting. Uh, what else do we have here? More AMP ammo. Hey, look at that. That is good to see. Some ATM ammo. We're gonna stock up on that because we are actually running them right now. Cool. Um, Gorgas. Never played that. Heat Bank Mark II. You know what? We're gonna take some of them as well. Why not? More Hydra? Sure. Give it to me, baby. Superchargers. You know what? I'm gonna get another Mark IV. Five, actually. Five. Cool. Mech Market tells me. Lots of mechs, but none that I want. And... Oh yeah, I wanted to actually build the LRM-20 out, so let's quickly do that. Let's go here, here, here. LRM-20. Can only disassemble. Cannot upgrade. Huh. Wait. Also, wasn't it, like, low tier? We need more missile tubes. Interesting. How do we get them? Obviously, by disassembling other things, but I don't have anything to really disassemble right now. Some of these uh, streak, stream LRMs, uh, SRMs even. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm kind of running out of here. Refurbish. Now we should be able to upgrade, but we need 240 more missile tubes. Ouch. So yeah, we are. Tier 2. Maxed out Tier 2 right now. Should probably repair this as well. It's a nice one to have. 
These guys are expensive. All right. So, back in action, I would say. We need to spend a little bit more time in space to get our king crab done. By the way, go there, get all the ammo, and also a look at the equipment there. This seems very, very good. And by the time we arrive, we also spend another 2 million sea bills because we are very picky with where we go right now. We just, just don't play any mission anymore. And I think it makes sense. Um, but we also uh, can get rid of the Great Worm, which is nice. It's now empty. Sell mech. Get money. Thank you very much. Okay. Equip them all. Okay, we're gonna quickly scroll through. Weapon systems are not interesting. Um, man. None of these ammo types are interesting to me. 170. Standard for my AC-20s. I mean, we've got 2,000 shots. That should be good enough. Still don't have any 185 um, APDS. I cannot run my Ultra 20s. It's just so crazy. Uh, hack ammo? Oh, please, yes. I'm gonna buy that already. I found hag ammo. Mmm. More hag. Yep. This is a good one. I'm gonna buy this engine as well. For a potential later build. 400 mil gals! Oh yes. Sure. You know why, I'm, why am I buying this? Oh there's AMP. 50 mil AMP. Do we need that? I don't know, there's also more hag ammo. I don't think we need it. Uh, 70 mil, no, APDS 80, yep, yeah, that's the thing that we need. It's good to have so many bullets again. It is really, really good. Uh, 80 mil solid is fine, 88 mil, no. AMS, no. Arrow cluster ammo. Yes! Of course, we're gonna get that, because we might find a thing and then we can instantly run it. Oh, this is a good planet. Heavy machine gun ammo as well now. Not seen that. Oh yeah, what about LRM ammo? What about the good old-fashioned standard full ton? We're shooting so many missiles. Always running out of it. Okay. Okay, guys, I think we're fine. Let's go. Got some swords here, some vibroblades! Oh boy! Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So, it says medium. It, does it say you can only run them on medium max? Those are vibro freaking blades, man. Yeah, I think it is a medium mech blade, right? I'm not gonna buy it because I'm not running medium max into melee. Not where we are going. To impress, sir. Okay, you guys are elite veterans, whatever dudes, but again, I don't care. We wanna we wanna dive into the next mission as quickly as possible now. How long for this king crypt to be done? Timeline, tell me. 18 days. We're gonna wait here. Yes. So I can put my LRM20 into the mech now. And then we go and instantly run the king crab. Holy crap. I am excited, guys. Where's my 20? There's my 20. Perfect. Bear with me. There's a chance we upgrade this. One time. Because now this is out of the mech. I'm gonna disassemble the LRM inner sphere. Huh? Come on, upgrade. I can't? Why? Tell me. Probably don't have the missile tubes for it. Alright. I'm gonna put it in the mech as is now. So, here's the 20. The last piece that makes the mech hopefully good. Alright. So, where do we go? We need a high tier mission. A Battleground 54. Mm, Multi-mission. That's a, that's a Raid 91. We can play that. Beachhead. No, thank you. As much as I like the beachhead idea, I, I don't want to take all the damage right now. Targeted kill. What about a good old-fashioned targeted kill? But we can, on the way down, play the objective raid. Alright, guys. King Crab. Let's do it. God, I really hope this works. Zip. 
and we are going. So again, the idea is that we're gonna overheat while also dealing damage with some good old-fashioned auto cannon fives. Objective raid. Get the salvage. Get the you know what? An airstrike. Cool. So I think the undertonnage here is a lie. Maybe I don't know. Um, I will take my crabo. Where is a crabo? There we go. I'm gonna take that bad boy to the battlefield. And we need somebody who is better with ballistics, so it's going to be Captain McGill. Cyclops is fine in this mission. You want to run one of these ultra auto cannon king crabs? Um, guess this one. This is still okay. And then we have the LB king crab here. Why not? Let's give it a try. All right, guys. Ready up? We are 10 tons under, and this is the first time we are trying our new build. The overheating king crab on the board. Let's see if that works. I hope so. Maybe we need more of these um, Hydra missiles and slap them on the Cyclops, maybe. But then, I don't know, I want to run the Cyclops as something that just support fires. And manually telling them, hey, overheat them and destroy that guy, but overheat this guy is not working. So I guess I, I kind of keep it streamlined with just regular old ammo. It's loading so long here, huh? Suspicious. There we go. We've been hired to red for supplies. We've been cleared for airstrike support on this mission, Commander. I'll give you the okay once you're in target range. Dragon reporting. Alrighty then, let's go. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Okay. Let's go, everybody. So what's the deal? We raid for supplies, which means we gotta salvage things here, correct? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go from the south to the north. By the way, beautiful desert. I like it. A lot. I don't think we're gonna need hands here, so I'm gonna take my LRMs and put them into a chain fire group. Also, what's the ammo type right now? Now we got the swarms. Perfect. So Hydra counting as swarm ammo. We got some enemies here. Wow. So these guys are burst fire as well. Lots of tanks down there. Holy macaroni. Okay, so we triggered all the bases at once. Interesting. Where are you going? Up, down? Who knows? Cool. It's cool as hell. Alright. Man, we're killing those things so quickly. I need a mech to test. Time for the missiles, huh? And I think we completely missed. Question is. How can we see how hot they are? We really need to get into a brawl and actually see if they're shutting down or not. But honestly, those auto cannon fives are beautiful. Alright, Hawk. Come to me, please. I need you in my face. No? They're just crushing this guy. Alright, let's go for him. Fine. So why are we destroying those tanks so quickly? Is heat damage actually affecting them in a in a bigger way? It's like Like in Rogue Tech, heat actually deals a lot of damage to tanks. Or vehicles in general. So we not only have the base damage, but also the applied heat damage, which will be multiplied by a factor. If that's the same case here, that is. I don't know. Loot! Okay. 
So, we're gonna take the base in front of us, then we're gonna go to the base to the left, and then we go into the north. No use of the airstrike, I can already see it. Huh? Another flyer. Got one. Got two. Oh, and this is a thing that we should destroy? Okay. So crazy, man. And I like the rate of fire. Alright, we got these things. Another... Oh, God. The ride of the Valkyries. It's like on a shooting range here. Wait. Wait a second. I just realized... I I just taught you that um, the King Krebs don't have lower arms. My variant does have it. Okay, cool. There's a light mare coming. You know, the problem of this mech is it kills too fast before an enemy actually overheats. Watch your fire! Holy crap! <laughs> wow! Dude, stop it! Are you... Is this friendly? Wait, this guy is running an arrow on a helicopter. Yellow jacket gunship. Go away. At the same time, can we salvage the arrow? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Hydras. They, they don't hit anything at that range. Nothing at all. Bra, bra, bra. Love it. So yeah, give me something big. Give me something to shoot at. We, we should probably play the uh, targeted kill afterwards. We need an assassination mission here. Completely forgot that I also got these guys. Alright. Let's not waste any time. We're gonna go to the next base because I want to get into the bigger mission. Holy crap, Aroni. But hey... It's really cool that we got all the crabs here. Okay, where's the... Oh, no, no, no. Right. Where do we get up? Uh, we gotta go all the way to the left, I guess. <laughs> this is insane! It's really good. Um, I'm gonna change my ammo to standard LRMs because I don't think that we're gonna overheat anybody here with the Hydras. I'd rather have some damage at my disposal. Sneaky tank. Yeah, my, my guys are good enough to uh, take care for themselves. Cool. And these are machine gun dudes. I don't know, maybe I could have gotten that slope here, but I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna move over the minimap now. Uh, let's go here. Take a look at the map. This seems good. We're gonna go up here. It is a rather slow moving crab, but I think it is an okay crab anyway. What are you? You are dead. Cool. Alright. Getting up the hill. The last bit to do. Man, it's so fun playing these auto cannons, and again, I completely ignore and forget that I also got lasers. Maybe I should put my mech under a little bit of a stress test when it comes to heat. So let's um, fire everything. Just to check how much we can actually, um, yeah, how much damage and how much burst we can put out before we are running hot. It's a very, very important and valuable information for the next mission. Huh? 800 meters still. Come on. Do we have to destroy here or do we have to... That's not the base, is it? Huh? Alright. Alright, alright. Let's go home. Cool. 
We have some enemies here, and we have the high ground. It's over Anakin. Let's go. Swarm is loaded. Uh, ah. Come on. So, we got that guy. Let me see what we got here in front of us. The dropship is departing. And we are here. On an Atlas. Should now shut down. Huh? Anything to say, Mr. Atlas? He's not shooting. He's not shooting because he cannot. Let's go! Oh, okay, it works, guys. It works. We shot the Atlas down. Calm freaking completely. Let's go to the pickup zone. Sure. Yeah, it's on the high ground, so let's not drop there. That was cool! That Atlas had nothing to do here. Why is my weapon group so grayed out down there? I don't know. But hey guys, these auto cannons? Beautiful. Beautiful. The pirates do have a thing, man. They have ingenuity. They just know how to weld things together. Sometimes they explode, sometimes they fall apart. But in general? That's a lot of fun stuff. That didn't do anything. I'm sending my people over. I don't want to stop my stride here. Beautiful mystique. Okay, guys. Again, we're gonna play another mission. Because I want to test this make once more in a targeted kill scenario. Where we actually have to fight multiple um, lances at the same time. Ammo low. Okay. Alright. I mean, we do not have a lot of ammo on this mag. But that's because it's a hybrid. We still have two tons of regular LRM ammo that we didn't use. Ooh, this running is bumper. Not anymore, though. Don't know if that's gonna be added to the loot table. We'll see. Yeah, pretty good. That's a king crab and a half. I still have one more king crab, the one with the LB axis, which is an okay weapon. But it's still an inner sphere weapon. Maybe we want to change that for a gauss build. I don't know. Huh. So that's what we get. That's not a lot of good stuff. Alright, we don't even get a mech here, so I guess we'll take the LRM to take it apart. And the SRM as well. And then these LRM5s. Yeah, guys, we need material to upgrade. Some LRM standards on, sure. And then we have 15. So it's gonna be a thumper, and it's gonna be an AC2, and it's gonna be a large laser, whatever. Alright. This is my salvage. This is my repair. And then I would say we just go into the next mission right away. Ah, oh, the builds are coming together. I love it. So it was here, right? Yeah, difficulty 95. Let's go, guys. Let's go. And it's also worth noting that we should probably f have filled up our auto cannon, the ultra auto cannon build completely because we also got 80 mil APDS ammo again. It was at 60%, which was okay for the last mission, but now it should be full again. So let's go. Huh? It went away! No! Oh, it's gone! We have... Hmm... No, wait. Where is it? Huh? Targeted kill, contract. Difficulty 95. Tonnage limit is 400. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. Destroy the bandit settlement. Okay. So this is a campaign mission difficulty one. Yeah, this is the campaign mission. The first ever mission where you start with a javelin. The one that Spears gives you. Okay. I don't see the 95. Hmm. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So, 
Is there anything else here that we can quickly take? Multi-mission. Battlefield. All right, we're gonna get into this duel in Büdingen. Oh God, really? I want to go so far, but I guess, I guess I have to take it. We're gonna test this mech again. It'll take a lot of time to actually get there again, and another two million C builds are gone. But hey, as I was saying, the more time, uh, the more the time progresses, the more goodies will arrive at the market. The more, um, yeah, development will be made. There's the duel. All right. Get salvage. Get money. Get 315 tons. It's going to affect visibility and sensors. Actually, you get the timber with the LRMs. Not the ATMs. LRMs. You're gonna get this here and... This king crab is going to be another timber wolf. It's not even working. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. I just also realized that we have 105 mil hash ammo, which is not full. So we got to take a look at that. Uh, so, uh, what are we doing now? I think the Marauder is not good here and the ATM Timberwolf is also not good here. Instead, we're gonna take a big boy. And that big boy is gonna be our AC-20 King Crab. Yeah. Oh boy. So, three versus four. Actually. I mean, it's like 40 more tons. Let's go with the other big boy. Let's go with, like, this here. Why not? And we take... Who? Who you gonna call? Huh. I don't know. Doesn't matter so much. We're gonna take Mantis. So, Triple King Crab. Let's go. 300 tons. I hope that we can overheat somebody and just take him out of the game. And in the meantime, our people are just destroying. So, a bit of target direction is good. I'm gonna send my, my, my freaks over to a single target. And I'm going for the other targets to just overheat them. My plan is shut down, their plan is destruction. What's the range on my... Hydras? It says about 440? Airstrike support will be unavailable for this mission, I'm afraid. Maybe this kind of heat vision is good. Maybe this? Let's go. Like, it's night vision, I know. This is so spooky. This is so out of this world. This whole color scheme. Okay. This might be it. There they come. Ooh, it's getting brighter if I zoom. Maybe regular vision it is. I mean, it's a Shadowhawk. He's now not shooting anymore. All right, I'm sending over my people yet again. It's another Shadowhawk. We better hit that guy. But my lasers. And he's getting slower, yeah. God, this mech is good. And we can alpha strike quite a good chunk. Down he goes. Ooh, Warhammer should have prioritized that guy. He's nasty. But the hammers have problem with heat. So do I. Now. I'm having fun. I don't know about you guys, but I am loving this build. Missiles! They don't seem to register the hit. The reticle doesn't turn red. I don't know if I missed or if it's just because I didn't really deal damage here. But you know what? These auto cannons. Insane. Absolutely insane. Pirate auto cannons. 
Get them. They're good. They're really good. <laughs> cool. So, what are we doing with this build now? Do we keep the Hydras or just shoot LRMs? Regular good old-fashioned LRMs as a support thing to do. Just dealing a bit of damage while we are dealing damage and overheating them. I don't think we need more. Screw the Hydras. Really. So, that's too much. Guess I'll take the Orion. Ooh, an XL Orion. With good weapons that we can salvage out of the mech and then scrap them. I like it. So this is gonna be it. And that's gonna be it for today, everybody. We tried something new and it worked. Yay. I'm happy. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, there is a super thanks option now beneath the video stage. You can drop a buck or two if you have one spare. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.